Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So it is currently Monday, freezing cold here in Massachusetts, but this video is going to be me talking about 4K, 4K shooting, and if it is worth it um, to shoot in 4K. So um, there are a lot of people who try to shoot in 4K and when they post it to YouTube, it does not look good and then people get disappointed. They say, is it really worth it? No, it's not really because my footage isn't going to look as good. Well, there's several things that you can do, um, which I will talk about. But first of all, do I think that it's worth it? Absolutely. Um, with, I think, with all the new technology that's coming out, the new devices such as the DJI Pocket 3, GoPro, all that good stuff, your phones, there is no better reason to not use... Or there's no better reason to use whatever the term is to use 4K. I think it makes your footage look so much better. Um, so many more people, top content creators are using 4K. So honestly, like, why not do it? Um, if you're going to have the option to use 4K, you might as well. Like, it's it looks really crystal clear. Obviously, it's going to be a larger size um, in terms of the um, the storage. However, your your shots, your footage is going to look way more professional, better quality. I mean, if you had to choose between shooting something in 720p or shooting in 4K, most people are going to say 4K. Some people think that shooting in 1080p is, you know, better than 4K. I think that's debatable, but again, it just really depends. But I think what this really boils down to is people having issues when shooting in 4k and i think that discourages a lot of people and they wonder you know what's the point of even having it so there's a few things that you can do which i've mentioned in uh, community posts before but one thing that i'd highly recommend is to sh to obviously go on youtube and search up how to edit um using 4k so that's how i learned but i'm gonna try to you know give you a few simple tips obviously i'm driving so i can't like give everything away but the first thing that I would say is make sure you have a proper either micro SD SD card or um, an SD card the reason why is there are some that are not meant for 4k shooting um, they're not able to process it correctly so if you're someone who's shooting in 4k make sure you look up if your micro SD card or SD card is compatible with 4k shooting that's really important um, number two is a lot of the time when people try to upload the footage their editing software is not formatted to edit and export in 4k um, in that setting and that's something that for some odd reason people don't know or don't think about um, so whatever editing software you're using whether it is Filmora, CapCut, Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, whatever it may be you have to make sure that your format and your export settings are set to 4k Otherwise, why would it why would it export to 4k right that wouldn't make any sense um, Number two is you're not exporting at a high enough um, bit rate and the bit rate is essentially just the rate at which it's going to process your video the higher the bit rate the higher um, You know quality essentially your footage is going to come out as so if you're doing a 4k video you want your bit rate to honestly be I would say anywhere like 40 to maybe 90,000 <laughs> um, in terms of your bitrate, which I know that sounds like a crazy number. It's gonna make your file much larger, but I'm telling you, it's gonna help. And the reason why is that YouTube um, has this whole algorithm, and essentially when it comes to up, um, uploading videos, is if they see that your video has a higher bitrate, it's shot in 4K, they're going to change the codec. So this term has been kind of thrown around um, across YouTube. YouTube has a certain type of codec which determines the quality of your video. So um, there are two different types of codecs which essentially again they determine. So you want to have the highest um, quality codec and the way that you're going to do that is making sure that your format settings are correct. Um, and another thing that I'd recommend is for the type of video you either choose MPEG-4 or H.264 um, but again your bitrate is incredibly important when exporting video 
Um, and then lastly, I would just re recommend getting an editing software that has the capability to edit in 4K. I think there's a lot of editing softwares that people use that are free, um, and they're not really meant for 4K editing. So you have to really make sure that like the software that you're using is going to process and export correctly. If you're using, if you're shooting in 4K video and you're using a software that's really not designed for that, there's obviously going to be issues with your editing and with your film. So just make sure that you're using the right setting. Like I think a lot of people don't really think about that. They just think they can upload 4K footage and then it's just going to process perfectly and export perfectly. Like that's not the way to go about doing it. Um, but to kind of wrap this all up, guys, I think if you are, you know, if you're making video content and you have the um, option on your camera to shoot in 4K, whether it's 4K 25, 30, 60 frames per second, why not use it, right? As long as you know and you're learning how to edit properly, your footage is going to be absolutely fine and it, YouTube will um, obviously look at it and say, hey, we're going to make sure that this is the right codec. Um, so again, hopefully this helps. I know these are just very kind of simple tips, but um, I just wanted to help you guys out, especially if you're either a newer YouTuber or just someone who has been super frustrated with just like you record like all of this footage in 4K and then once you upload it to YouTube, it looks horrible. I hope that this, you know, can help and I'll put a link down below to not only a video that I watched um, from a great uh, YouTube, great YouTuber who just really helped me out, but also um, just a few kind of steps that you can use as well guys at the end of the day it's like we're all trying to either become a youtuber or just upload footage at the capacity or the level that we filmed it in right so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out bye